People always ask me, how do I get over her? How do I get over him? How do I let them go? How do I forget this relationship, this love? And I want you to understand something that's going to be so real that most of you are just not going to want to hear it. You're never going to be able to forget them. You're never going to be able to just unlove them. It it doesn't work that way. It never will work that way. See, you can't just unlove what you loved overnight. And the only way you're able to do that is if you actually never loved it in the first place, which kind of defeats that whole saying in the, you know, altogether. That's why, you know, love is really tested after the breakup. So if you still miss them after the breakup, if you still care for them, if you still want their happiness, if you're angry, if you're upset, if you're frustrated, if you're all these things after the breakup, it means that you really love them. It means that you really cared. And it hurts. See, relationships leave scars for men and women. They leave scars. And those scars are reminders for the decisions that you made. I've been in many relationships. Women have done me dirty. Women have fallen out of my life because of mistakes that I've made. I'm being very real with you right now. And those situations, whether they're good or bad, leave scars. And I will always have that love for all those women that I've had. I will always have that love. Because, you know, I've loved many of them. There's definitely some relationships that I've had where I wasn't like so involved with them and it's easy to forget, it's easy to let go. And I'm being very honest with you. But there are some that I still love. There are some that I still care about. There are some that I still think of. And it's not in a way where I'm like, I want them back so badly. It's not like that. But it is a feeling of love. It is a feeling of like, I will always care about you. I will always want the best for you. But you know what? Here's the thing. Those scars are a testament to what you went through. And yeah, they're always going to be there. Yeah, they're always going to be marks. You can't really get rid of the scar, just like you can get rid of the love. But they're a lesson. The scars that you have teach you, hey, don't do this, don't do that. And it's not like you want to revisit the situation that gave you the scar again. But you're grateful in a way that you learn from it. So the relationship is not something that you want to revisit because it just didn't work out. It didn't work out for whatever reason. But at the same time, it's... It's something that you learn from. You're never going to unlove them. The only thing that you can do is love yourself more and also love somebody else to a larger degree. Because I'll tell you this, nobody is worth losing sleep over for months and months at a time, if not years at a time. Nobody's worth losing sleep over because they don't love you. If they're walking out of your life, if things are not working, if you guys are just not connecting, look, just let it go. Let it go. Nobody's worth like that much. I don't mean to say that people are very replaceable, but I do mean to say that you have better things to do. You have to focus on yourself. You have to grow. And look, it's not something where this person is your soulmate. That soulmate thing is bullshit. It's not that life has one person that's good for you. There are a multitude, if not tens of thousands, if not millions of people that could be really good for you. Truthfully, there are. And, you know, that's just the case. We we just don't meet all the millions of people because we don't really meet millions of people in our life. We typically meet about 10,000 people that we actually get to know over the course of a lifetime. And in that 10,000, there are probably, I would say, a good 1% or maybe a half a percent that you seriously can connect with, that you can seriously vibe with. That actually is a lot of people. In my life, I've met many women that I could have been very compatible with, that I could have started families with. And honestly, when I was younger, I met many, 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 many amazing women when I was working in the nightclub. I just met a lot of women in general, and they could have easily been wives. But I just wasn't in the stage of my life where I would have married any of those girls. And many of those girls are married and they're doing good, and I don't necessarily regret it. I'm just telling you guys, like, you can get over things. You can move on. You can let go in terms of the idea and the fixation that you need this person back, but you will never let go of the love that you have for them. Like, it's just part of life. You will never erase that completely. It will always be in your heart. That's why relationships are very difficult to get into and get out of. People just jump into relationships. They think that, okay, I'm gonna go ahead first. And I think it's absolutely insane. Like, this is something that can absolutely change your psychology, your mindset. It can get you in prison. It could cause you to do dumb things. People do crazy things for love. So you have to be very careful. You have to be very cautious when you get entangled with somebody because it changes who you are. 
you learn from them, you mold to them, you care about them, you go out of your way for them. You have to be very careful when you jump in a relationship. And that's why I always think that you should have a relationship coach or someone that you talk to when you're jumping in relationships because it is a very dangerous thing to do, if not arguably the most dangerous thing that you could ever do in your entire life. You need to be very careful when you get into emotional connections with people because if it doesn't work out, it's always going to stay with you. And look, the majority of them are not going to work out, but you have to take educated decisions. It's like starting a business. You're not always gonna win in your first business. You're not always going to make the right decisions. So it's good to get a business coach before you get into business. And even with a business coach, you might not win right off the rip, but you're statistically much more likely to succeed. And yeah, capital that you deploy cannot be gotten back. It's just what it is. Same thing, the love that you give somebody cannot be taken back. It just doesn't work that way. And when I've failed in many of my businesses, it's affected me, it's stuck with me. It's been something that I think of. I've had many people that have worked for me and I still think to this day that some of those people could have still been with me if I had been a better leader, a better owner, if we had done different things, if we had taken this direction here, the business would have survived and this would have been profitable and they would have done well. Or in other ways, there's other people that I should have let go of and walked away from that caused my businesses to fail and that I shouldn't have been involved with. It's the same thing in relationships. Relationships will always be with you. So the people that you love, they will never fade away from your life. So be very careful because those people are almost tattooed on your heart. You cannot let go of them. You can never relinquish them. Be very, very cautious of the people that you, that you walk into and that you connect with. I think that at the end of the day, we can all learn from our past relationships, but it should never be a situation to where you're holding on to it and fixating on it too much because that prevents you from really opening your heart to new people. I want you to think before you love. I think that's one of the most important things that you can learn in life. And more than anything, it's not that you'll always, always, always fixate on this person unless you choose to. You can let go of it any moment you decide to. You have to make the active decision and you typically have to reinforce it in your head over and over and over again, or you have to talk to yourself instead of listening to those thoughts. Remember, talk to yourself, tell yourself you do not need them. You have better things to do than to fixate on this relationship. Because when you just sit there and listen to yourself, you'll, you'll go nuts. Those intrusive thoughts, they don't stop. They keep coming, they keep pounding. You have got to tell them to go away. I'm telling you this, when those thoughts of that person come in your head, tell them to go away, get out, leave me alone and start talking to yourself, start hyping yourself up. I'm not talking about affirmations like you are beautiful, you are strong. Tell yourself, I don't fucking need them. I don't fucking want them. I can do better. Why am I sitting here obsessing over someone that does not want to be with me? Yes, I love them. Yes, I want the best for them. Yes, I want them to succeed. Seriously, say this stuff. Even if you don't necessarily feel it, because if you keep saying it to yourself, you will eventually feel it. Because what happens is that word becomes part of your emotion. And that emotion becomes a mood. And that mood, when it's prolonged for weeks or months, becomes a temperament. And when it becomes a period of years and years and years, that becomes a personality trait. And now you have a personality trait and now you're doing things because you just haven't necessarily understood that that emotion that initially caused you to feel a certain way has become something that's evolved over a period of time. Because you just couldn't let go because you were not talking to yourself, because you were listening to the thoughts and those thoughts overpowered you. Look, we can't control a lot of things in life. We really can't. But the one thing that we can control is our thoughts and our emotions. Even if you feel like you can't, you can. The fact that you're saying that you can't is actually reinforcing it. It's all you, it's literally all you. You can control how you feel. Anytime you want, you can control it. Many of you don't have these big psychological disorders. I'm not a therapist, I'm not a doctor. This isn't medical advice, but at the same time, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Most people don't have this chronic condition to where they are forced to feel sad, unhappy, frustrated. It is a choice. It is a belief that they have inherited from the universe. They are going through a breakup. They're going through loss. They're going through something difficult. It is normal. When bad things happen, you're not going to feel happy. When things happen to you in life, you are going to be messed up for a period of time. You're allowed to feel sad. You're allowed to feel upset. And honestly, 
that sadness, that frustration, that distraught, that depressive cycle that you're going through, that's a consequence of you not making the right decisions. That's a consequence of you choosing someone wrong or being in a situation that's not right or something bad happening to you. That's the universe telling you, yo, this isn't good. And sometimes it's just meant to happen that way. We're not always meant to be happy. We're not always meant to win. The losses that we have in life teach us more than the wins that we have. I'm telling you, you don't learn a lot from success. You learn a lot from losing. And the biggest thing that we learn from is losing people that we love and holding on to that love and understanding that love doesn't go away. I will always love my exes, a lot of them. I will always have that love for them. But it doesn't mean that I'll ever go back. It doesn't mean that I'll ever disrespect myself from jumping into something that doesn't work. And it means more than anything that I will love myself more and find somebody that I'm more compatible with that can actually make sense for me and that I can give more of myself to. There are so many amazing people in this world. Don't ever think for a second that you won't find somebody. If you're willing to look, if you're willing to love yourself and if you're willing to put your heart out there, you will find somebody that will love and cherish you. And I know it's easier said than done because the fact is it is easier said than done. But if you're willing to put in the work, it's going to happen. It's a numbers game. It's not impossible. If you're constantly looking for people, there are people everywhere. If you think that you're the only person in the world that wants to find real genuine connection, then you are a fucking delusional person. You are fucking lying to yourself. I'm keeping it real with you. You're absolutely insane. You're not the only one out of 8 billion people in the world that feels that you need true love. So you really got to ask yourself, do you really actually want it? Are you actually looking? Are you putting in the effort? Don't be upset for the results that you have, for the work that you have not done. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and listening to me. Hit that bell notification to stay subscribed to all of our YouTube videos. Follow me on all major platforms. And until next time, guys, sue me out.